Hello there. A lot of the hospitality business, including pubs, restaurants, hotels, theme parks, campsites and hotels will be reopening this Saturday. Therefore, a lot of people are keeping a close eye on the weather prospects uh, for the coming weekend. Now, things have changed dramatically in the last few days. The heat has given way to much cooler, windier and wetter conditions across all parts of the UK and unfortunately it looks as though the generally unsettled theme will continue through the coming week. However, as we get towards Friday, Saturday and Sunday, the forecast details become less certain and there are a number of uh, scenarios still being shown by the various computer models. Therefore, I'm going to show you what the possibilities currently look like for Saturday, um, Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. Let's start off by taking a look at the uh, GFS model, which shows, I would suggest, the worst case scenario. This has a very deep and nasty looking area of low pressure centred to the northwest of the UK, um, with outbreaks of rain persistent and heavy at times, pushing southeastwards across all parts of the UK and intercontinental Europe. We have a cool and showery airstream coming in behind it from the west. Now, the general agreement between the computer models is for low pressure to be to the north of the UK and high pressure to be to the southwest. What varies is the balance between the high and low pressure areas. The European model also shows a quite an unsettled picture on Saturday across the UK. It's not as bad as the GFS. However, I think there would be showers in the north and the possibility of more persistent outbreaks of rain pushing southwards. If we could take a quick look at the German Icon model, it's a similar picture. Low pressure here is actually pulling away, it's centred to the northeast of, uh, of the UK, leaving us under a coolish and showery airstream. Could well be drier in southern counties if this comes about, but it's, again, it's not looking great. The Canadian model for GEM is showing something slightly different. The balance here is tilted more towards high pressure. Uh, it's building more strongly from the Azores northeastwards into southern parts of the UK and uh, parts of continental Europe. Therefore, if this comes around, I would expect southern counties of England to be drier, brighter and warmer, with the rain and showers probably restricted to the northern half of the UK. So southerners may do quite well if this is correct. What it does is highlight the uncertainty. Now, one of the things we can do is look at the ensemble models to try and work out which of the solutions is most likely. So if I flip to this postage stamp chart, as it's called, which is uh, showing the forecast rainfall on Saturday afternoon from each of the runs in the GEFS model, we can get an idea of uh, what's, what's the uh, likely scenario. In general terms, most of these individual plots are showing rain in most or even all of the UK, um, whether that be in the form of showers or, or more persistent outbreaks. However, there are about four or five of them. For example, this one here, another one here, another one here, another one here, which are showing dry conditions in, uh, in southern and eastern England. Those probably indicating high pressure having more influence. What it would tend to suggest at this stage is there's something like a 20-25% chance of it being dry in uh, southern and eastern England during Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. The chance of it uh, remaining dry in the north and the, north and the west is uh, significantly lower if, if this data is to be believed. So to summarise, it's looking very unsettled as we head through the coming week. There's still uncertainty about uh, 
for details for Super Saturday, as it's been dubbed in some sections of the media. On balance, it looks as though rain is likely in the northern and western parts of the UK. That could be through showers or, as I said, more persistent outbreaks. There's also a significant likelihood of rain in the south of the UK, but some computer models, perhaps 25% of the runs, for example, in this GEFS model, indicate the south could stay dry. So at this stage, it's not looking great. The best chance for drier and warmer conditions is in the south, but do keep up to date with the weather prospects through the coming week. Thank you. See you soon. Bye.